I would love to know what's each of your funniest or most memorable moments from making this film. Watching him. <laughs> He is, uh, his imagination is visible. Seeing the movie, I have tons of funny parts in the movie, but watching him be so excited to know that the movie is coming together, you could sense the excitement and just watching him, I love his process of like, when you're in the voice booth and his head is down and he's trying to see what's going on, and he's like, no, I got it, and then we move on. <laughs> it's, it's a brilliant creative process. It was really cool to be a part of. How was it recording the voices? Were you, um and with the other cast? No, no, everybody's visual. separate, but he's always there. And like I said, he has uh, the imagination level of everybody combined. So it's really, really cool. I try to do my best to play the other roles as much <laughs> as I can. It's hard, but I try to do my best. I can never do justice, but at least, like, you know, he's a pro, he gets a line, so it's just to give you a context and then boom. Super, super creative. He's selling himself <laughs> way short. So somewhere there is a version where every voice is done by you. Yes, in some kind of like hidden, you know, tape that we recorded, I played a, an opposite role of every pretty much character in the story. Yeah. Maybe it's a DVD extra. No, no, it's not very good, so I wouldn't put in the extra. <laughs> How were you with like blooper moments? Were there any moments that had you cracking up? The whole thing is funny because you just uh, you have to be big and you have to be pronounced and you have to go for it. And I think being able to to check any reservations you have at the door and just try to do the best you can. I think mean, that's really important. But it's cool to see like Ferdinand and how they take the mannerisms and uh, interesting uh, body language and kind of translate it to the animation. It's, it's unbelievable to see what they can do. What's it like seeing yourself as a bull on screen? The great thing about Ferdinand is when you watch the movie, I don't see myself. I don't see myself, I don't even hear myself. Like it, I just assume that it's Ferdinand. And that's certainly a testament to Carlos and the folks at Blue Sky. Like they've created a universe from scratch where I'm a very identifiable character with my voice because I've used my voice on live television for 15 years as one character now. And I was, I really was afraid that like, oh, I'm just gonna see John Cena. You, I don't even hear myself, I just hear Ferdinand. I was approached to do this song and it came at a really great time because I already was looking for a film project to write a song for. Um, and you know, I basically looked at my team and said, if you find something, let me know. And, and the first thing they brought was Ferdinand. And I said, this is perfect. You know, I, I love this story and would love to talk to the director. So I talked to Carlos and um, he had amazing things to say about his vision for the film and for the song specifically and its placement in the movie. And, uh, you know, I basically dive, dive, dove in and, uh, and wrote the song. After a few tries, it didn't go so well. I didn't feel like I nailed it wrote this song and was so thrilled with how it turned out and was anxious for people to hear it. I finished the song and I thought it was great, which um, is not always the case. I don't always think the stuff I write is great. There are times I go, ah, this one's this was no good. Throw that one out. Uh, but this one I felt really good about. And so I walked into this room with all the executives and the director of the film and everything else. It was like, it felt like an audition or something. So I like put the song on, played it. And I kind of felt like, all right, I have to sell this. Like I need to sell this song. And I started walking around the room, sort of like singing it as it was playing. And thankfully they all liked it. Um, or maybe they just didn't want to tell me and still haven't told me even though they put it in the movie. But uh, it seems like we're in the clear, like they liked it.